Hey horror fans, Good Gore back here with another video. This is gonna be uh, row number 15 of my horror movie collection. So let's get right into this. First up, we have The Brutal Frontiers. Really good French horror, uh, along with Martyrs and in, uh, Inside, In My Skin, movies like that. Just definitely France's hidden horror. Great film. Deranged Family, <clears throat> Freak Show, uh, I think this is kind of a remake of Freaks, or in the tradition of Freaks, um, it was alright, Fingerprints, I've never seen this movie, but I hear it's really creepy, so I'll definitely be checking this one out, Lou Diamond Phillips is in it, should be interesting. Here we got a good Zomcom called Fido, um, a boy with a pet zombie. Very funny movie. Loved it. <clears throat> Flesh for Frankenstein, also known as Andy Warhol's Frankenstein. Udo Kerr is amazing in this as the doctor. Absolutely amazing. Really, <laughs> really uh, fucked up climax in this movie. You just never see it coming. Uh, the remake of Friday the 13th. Uh, stop the remakes, Hollywood. Frozen. I actually like this movie. Um, about these uh, friends caught on a uh, ski lift. <clears throat> and they're just stranded there. You know, and there's wolves, behind, uh, wolves below them ready to eat them. And then they're going to die of hypothermia. This is a great one. This is this is a great movie about isolation. I loved it. Adam, One of Adam Green's favorite one of my favorite Adam Green movies. The Fields, this one was really good. Pretty creepy, it's actually based on true story. Kind of ties in with the Manson family. Uh, Frost, Portrait of a Vampire, never seen it. Gary Busey's in this. Must be good for something. Flesh for the Beast, this movie's cool, I actually enjoyed it. I know it gets a lot of shit, but it's kind of got like a hammer horror feel to it. And it's got really good music by Buckethead. <clears throat> Fetus support the mighty Morbid Vision films. Ours, uh, Brian Pollen. This movie is so gory, brutal, disturbing. I loved it. He couldn't even post a video on YouTube because it just kept getting banned. <laughs> that gives you an idea how brutal this movie is. Really good gore, practical effects, fuck CGI. This is the real shit right here. These are the real studios putting out real gore for gore hounds. Check out Brian Pollen's Feast. <clears throat> Feast, this is a fun gory film. I enjoyed this one. Good creature feature, alien invasion type film in a bar. <laughs> the Fog, fuck that. This is the remake. I did not pay $7.95 for this either. I probably paid like a dollar. Horrible remake. The ghosts look kind of cool, but that's all I'll give it. Feeding the Masses. This was a really good movie from Shakarama. Really good uh, zombie apocalypse. A newest crew trying to document it. This one was really good. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> one of the greatest horror films, modern horror films I've seen in a long time. Found. This movie has to be seen to be believed. It's a great story about bullying. It's a great story about between two brothers, one that's being bullied and the other that's a psychotic serial killer. And they both kind of just come together and it just gets really ugly. Really powerful film. Really powerful film. Found is great. Frailty. This one was good too. Matthew McConaughey. Is, I'm really not a fan of him, but he, he does some pretty good shit sometimes. <clears throat> when he's not doing those chick flicks or whatever. Bill Paxton is really good in this too, as a guy that hears voices from God telling him to kill people. Frailty's great. From Hell, a uh, really good story about Jack the Ripper case with Johnny Depp. Family Portrait, A Trilogy of America, Douglas Buck. This uh, is very infamous for cutting moments. Really, really good story about family values going wrong. Really good trilogy there. <clears throat> Fear of Clowns. This one was, I actually enjoyed this one. Pretty good clown movie. Killer clown movie. 
Fear.com. Uh, I thought this one was alright. Had some pretty good moments in it. Final Destination. This is actually the only Final Destination movie I've ever seen. And then I, it's the first and I think it's the best. Because of this movie, I will not get on a, pl a plane at all. <laughs> <coughs> From Dust Till Dawn, George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino classic, Juliette Lewis, the beautiful Juliette Lewis. Um, this was just a classic vampire, modern vampire movie. I loved it. Tom Savini, the sex machine's in it. <laughs> the Frankenstein Theory, never seen it. Looks cool. Now here's the only one you need to see. That is the original, the best fog from 79. Amazing atmosphere, really good ghost story, a good, uh, <clears throat> really good um, atmosphere with the sea. Um, I like movies about ships and shipwrecks and ghosts and stuff, so this one's really, this one's really cool. Fractured, I've never seen this, but the only reason I got it is because uh, Fred Vogel and Jeremiah Cruz of Toe Tag Pictures did the, uh, um, the effects in it, so it should be pretty good. Paul Walker, uh, Pete Walker, Frightmare, um, Frightmare is great. <coughs> Ahead of its time, just like um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's a great film. Fetish Dolls Die Laughing, I've never seen it. The Fourth Kind, I've never seen it. Looks like a alien abduction movie. Fast Guns with Zombies, uh, this one was very cheap. I actually do like Chemical Burn, though. They put out some good stuff. After Dark Originals, 51, never seen it. It's about aliens, I believe. Area 51. <clears throat> Fertile Ground. Got him fucking sick. I'm sorry, guys. Fertile Ground. Uh, i never seen it. This one looks pretty good, too. Uh, from the Dark. Okay, now, this movie I'll talk a little bit about. I actually really enjoyed this one. This is a really good modern vampire movie. The atmosphere just uh, is amazing in this movie. The vampires look like little Nosferatu and those little creepy fuckers from The Descent. <laughs> really good. I think this is an Irish film, I believe. This one was really good. This one really needs to be seen. From the Dark was great. The Final Girls, I've uh, never seen it. I think it's a comedy. Flight of the Living Dead, I actually enjoyed this one. I love that part with the, the zombie nun, or the, the nun getting killed on the plane. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. <coughs> Feed, probably one of the sickest movies I have in my collection. Definitely one of them, along with like Crazy Murder and stuff like that. This one, uh, this one is so disgusting. Just about these obese women eating. Oh, yeah. This, it gets sick just by thinking about it. Very powerful film, though. Have that effect on me. Check it out. <clears throat> Felt to Ashes, uh, Flesh to Dust. Never seen it. Fright Night Remake, I've never seen it and I have no intention of, it was cheap. The Final, this looks pretty cool, I heard good things about this from a couple friends of mine, I'll have to check it out. Frayed, never seen it, uh, here it's pretty gory from Fangoria Films, or Fangoria Magazine said it was pretty gory. Fall Down Dead, never seen it, but David Carradine and Udo Kerr is in it, so I'll have to check that one out. And the last one I have for row 15 is The Frankenstein Story with, uh, I believe, Kane Hodder is in this movie. Tiffany Sheptis is in it, so I got it. She's my honey. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's uh, row number 15 of my horror movie collection. I'll be back with row 16 at some point. Thanks for watching. Skidgore. Bye.